Okay, guys, so, um, I'll, this will probably be the only video I'll post for this week because I'm in Corpus right now. I'm on vacation for my dad's birthday. There's someone staring at me. Hi. Bitch. Anyways, um, <clears throat> yeah, I'm on vacation right now, so this will probably be the only video I'll be um i'll be posting for this week so this is going to be carl exo center part two you and um you uh someone you love um got bit by a walker and basically they turned in your hands so yeah um i hope you guys enjoy and um yeah and i'm sorry for the background noise that's my dogs we just got here today and so uh yeah but um quick announcement if i make it to let's see let's make it 230 subscribers i'll do a face reveal so yeah um <laughs> uh yeah so i hope you guys enjoy this video and let's just get into it <laughs> okay so uh, let's say that you lost your best friend, Kiki, right? Yeah, Kiki. And, um, well, Kiki died on a mission with Rick, Carl, and Michonne. They went out to go get, like, supplies and, like, more food and baby food for Judith, right? And so, like, Carl got his leg stuck on, like, a an empty hole in the ground. And, like, walkers were coming at him. And Kiki, well, you know, Kiki liked him. And so, like, she sacrificed herself for so that Carl can live. And so, like, they come back to the, well, Alexandria. I almost said the prison. What? They come back to Alexandria. And they see... You pacing in the house back and forth and Carl comes up to you and he's he's the one who has to tell you since you and Carl you and Carl have like a better relationship and so yeah <laughs> um, listener oh oh uh, hey yeah we, we made it back yeah um Um, where's Kiki? Oh, um, about that, oh, we, we need something, we need, well, I need to tell you something. I'm gonna play you for a little bit, alright, I hope you guys are mad about that, I'm sorry, I'm just gonna play with you guys for a little bit. What? What do you guys have to tell me? Well, um, just, just sit down. Okay, you sit down, and, like, Carl sits down next to you. <sighs> okay. Um, so... Uh, Kiki, what happened? Where is she? I want to speak to her. Listener. Kiki, she... She what? She sacrificed herself to save my life. <gasps> yeah, I'm sorry. You're lying, right? <laughs> You're playing a very cool joke, Carl. But where's my best friend? I, I, I'm not lying. Listen her. She's, she's good. You hug, like, Carl tightly and you cry in his shoulder. I'm not going to be playing you for um, again. It's okay. It's okay. It's going to be okay. Don't worry. We, we stabbed her. We killed her before she turned, so it's okay. It's going to be okay. 
Carl like kisses your head and just It's okay. It's, it's gonna be okay. I, I promise. It's gonna be okay. A few weeks later, you um, have been locked in your room a lot. You haven't been really talkative, and Carl has been like, comforting you, you know, cuddling you, and like Michelle gets a little suspicious. Oh, you too, because like Carl says that you, you and him are just friends, but Michelle's not buying it. So Michelle has a little talk with Carl. <laughs> Carl, yes, Michelle. Can I um talk to you alone? Uh, sure. I'll be right back to the center. All right. See you later. Uh, Carl and Michelle go out of your room. And they start talking. So, sub. You know how you say that you and the sinner are just friends? Yeah, because we are. It doesn't really seem like it. It looks like you want to be more than friends. Michonne, the sinner just lost her best friend, who was a total bitch to them. Who basically sacrificed, who basically didn't even care about them. They only... They only became their best friend because they were friends with you. They, Kiki only liked Listener for you. She used Listener just so she can like get closer to you. Have you ever seen them actually hang out? No, no exactly. Because every time you and her, you and Listener hang out, Kiki always has to come along. Don't you understand? Oh, yeah, so, just tell me the truth. Do you like listener more than a friend? <sighs> you can tell me anything. Yes, yes. I, I, I do like them more than a friend. Well, you should have just told me that. But, but I just, I'm just too afraid to tell them. Well, I can help you with that. Me and Carol can. Right, Carol? Mm-hmm. We will help you with that. So don't worry. Wait, Carol? How did you ever get love experience? Well, I had Ed. You and Ed had a very toxic relationship. You're right. Carl? Um, well, she has Ezekiel. Oh, yeah, you're right. Well, I can help you with it. If you ever need, like, help, like, trying to see what kind of, um, like, what you're feeling inside, just talk to me or Michonne. Only me and Michonne. You understand? Yeah, okay. Alright, good. Yeah. We'll let you be with your love and stuff. Oh my god, shut up. <laughs> and, um, we'll call you guys when it's time for dinner, okay? Alright. Carol and Michonne leave, and Carl goes back into your room, and he starts cuddling you again. He starts giving you more kisses again, and, like, this is his mind. They are so beautiful. I really wish they were mine. A lot more than friends. Like, a lot more, but the God is like them will never like someone like me. Never. Carl then closed his eyes and then went the whole night cuddling you and thinking about you. 